So I've been thinking about doing another stream of this game for a while. And every time I do, I realize that I'm not looking forward to it. In fact, I'm feeling dread. So I've come to realize I'm, I'm no longer playing this game to have fun. I'm just trying to finish it because I don't like to not finish what I start. I'd, I'd like to do full streams of games. But no one wants to hear me about, uh, no one wants to hear me complain about a game for a whole stream. So I figure if there's anyone watching this, they're just watching it for me suffering. I'm just going to embrace that. I'm cool with that. Hello, sadists. Let's take another bite out of Crash 4. Hello, Darian. Got to do the Twilight Princess stream. I think that was on Sunday. Jack wasn't up to stream twice this weekend, so. Continues, we have, lim we have limited opportunity to stream together. Uh, so last time, we got through Entropy and Rule 63 Entropy's time hole machine. And we're on to the Snacks Dimension. Which looks similar to... This looks like nin Ninjala. Is this where Ninjala takes place? I should really make an effort not to die just for the... I'm probably not going to get more gems. Significantly gem more gems past this point. I'd like to get the, uh, the tapes. Because the flashback, the tape levels are fun. You said it, Crash. We can meet with the others after we've explored. Now, which way are the food trucks? Wait, why are we here again? We just we are just going on a detour after saving the world or something. Also, did anyone else find that giant neocortex symbol suspicious? Am I the only one? Ah. Oh. Say I'm not gonna die and then I die immediately. Music's in like a major key. What are we gonna call this aesthetic? It's Splatoon Jala. Also, I see a gem. I like it. It's nice to have something upbeat to uh, help fight the depression of playing this game. Oh. Those just plummet.
it is very Frogger. carrying crates. Uh, which is this? This is the slowdown mask. What the sound reminds me a little bit of is a uh, maple story music, which is a good thing. I love maple story music, mostly because it's so upbeat. mask. It's the gravity mask. I don't need a rope. Ropes are dumb. My mask ran out. Think. Is that what happened? Oh, there's a there's a boundary, the bounding box that you hit. Drones. Oh, wow, those are mean. Longer have uh, I no longer have slow mo. I have wall jump or wall run. Grab grabage cake. Zelda and masks. I am playing uh, Majora's Mask on, I'm guest commentating on Nick's stream at the moment. I don't think I'll archive those streams, just because there's nothing especially new, unique about them. It's just him playing Majora's Mask, and also there's been some audio issues with them. Oh boy. We're good. Oh god, those come to life. I thought I could jump on them. Oh, I have this. I just did that a really needlessly hard way. Come on. 
This is just like a, hey, remember all these masks you have level. I'm good. We're fine. future diner. I, I feel like we're being led on here. Like this is some kind of utopia where everything's great and everything's worked out for every character. Dingo got his diner back. He got a new one. The world's saved. We're gay. We get to go eat food at restaurants. But we know there's more games. It's like a fake out after arc party in one piece. Which they haven't done yet, as far as I've watched. Every arc has to end with a party, but so far the party has been the end of every arc. Mask salute. That's, I don't have to go under that. I thought I had to go under that wall. That's a background element. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, this is gravity. Okay. Am I doing any running? I don't need to do that. This is dumb. Buses are dumb. I say and then immediately die. Oh, there's like a cooldown. I can't do it too often, too fast. farther than I thought. Got a tape all the way out here. I'm very bad at measuring depth perception upside down, I'm learning.
Square Enix said they might port the Final Fantasy collection of consoles if there's enough demand. Oh, it's this mask. Okay, uh... Oh. I survived that because I had a mask. That's why that happened. Only gonna be on Steam and Mobile. Ugh. That's Final Fantasy 1 through 6? Oh god, what am I doing? Why did those blow up? Was that the was that the nitro activator? I thought it was a regular activator. Yes, that is the Nitro Activator. Okay. So I would have to get up there. Is a void just setting it off? I don't know if I can jump that far. Uh. I'm a little paranoid. How do uh, audio levels sound? Are we good? This is usually the levels I have them for, for Switch games. Good. Ah! Oh, there were remasters that were already on Steam and mobile. I, I guess they were being sold individually. Up on the Aku sign. Oh, there's boxes. He looks so sad up on that sign. Oh, this isn't a collection. They're all being sold individually for this one as well. Maybe. Okay. No, please. God damn it. Keep moving.
I wonder how many hundreds of boxes I'll miss when we get to the end of this level. Ah, oh, well, there's one. I can still get that. Come here. Uh, okay. How'd that work? Almost there. Yeah, I can just, it doesn't matter if I'm in the right phase or not. I can just smash that one regardless. One. Oh, hey, I got one. There's my one gem quota for the day. I got one crate gem. This looks like Ratchet and Clank, is what this looks like. Oh A particularly colorful Ratchet and Clank city. I wish we could play more of those. I am pretty sure we could if I got a graphics card upgrade. Unfortunately, something I hear related to the pa pandemic has computer parts skyrocketing in price. So it's like 2.5 times what the selling price would be. And I'm not going to pay $1,000 for a $400 graphics card. Wait, Dingo and Tana? Boy, this world is just, uh, throwing everything at us. Maybe we only have one or two more regular story worlds and the others are, like, bonuses? Mario 3D World had a bunch of, like, post-game bonus worlds. There wasn't a little post-game, there was a lot of post-game in 3D World. Hmm. Let's see if these tall poppies know how to smoke a steak. Where were we? We played the first three, so the next Ratchet game we would play is Deadlocked. And I haven't played any after that, but I'm interested in the rest of the series. I haven't heard anything too bad about the games after the original four. suck these? I can't. I just have a limited time to get rid of them. This especially sounds like 
The, the previous level sounded like upbeat Maple Story or Rayman music. This uh, this sounds like Ratchet and Clank. It's got like the the surf guitar, and it's got the the sci-fi beat boops. All the important elements of Ratchet and Clank music. Get this sock cannon. That's my favorite future weapon. Think about what? Dingoes? The diner? He does. He's not proud of that advertisement. Does this mean <gasps> I have franchise potential? Okay, so I guess this is the future. And it's weird for them to be seeing all these things. I think that's the narrative. thing I was thinking of doing uh, solo soonish was uh, Book of Mario 64. This is something a little bit lighter. It'll be fun. platform on the left, but I don't think I can get to it. Uh-oh. I'm going to assume that it is decorative. Don't die again, I think I can still get the, the Death's Gem, but I still presumably have a Tauna portion of level to do. Uh, Derry, so did you watch Kadikaris' mobile crash game video? And if so, what were his thoughts on them? No, maybe I can go over there and do stuff. I can. I can just ma barely make it. There's a kind of a sneaky section.
Oh, but what about the top part? It looked like there was stuff up there. Maybe? Maybe not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. God damn drones! Risky way to do that, but it worked. I wonder if I could have blown open that door. I wonder what insane crate count this dingo dial level will have. There goes my gem. Gone. Let's let's destroy a trash bot for no good reason. We get him. Oh boy. Oh boy. I didn't know there were Tiger Electronic games. I knew about the... the mobile games. The weird... mobile Crash Bandicoot karting games. Oh boy. Uh-oh! What do you mean he didn't get to talk about them? He just... Like, ran out of time in the video? Is he not planning to do anything with those games? There's quite a few of them, if I remember correctly. I forget the green ones fall. I guess all of the small ones fall. Blow up, please. No, he, he just hanging out. Hmm. Well. Not currently installed, available on the App Store. Well, I assume he would have to use an emulator to record them anyway. I know Vinny uses a uh, iOS emulator for mobile games. I eat my franchise because I sold my future franchise. Oh, bollocks, my head hurts. going? Do I keep going ahead? There's probably a secret thing up here. Yes, there is, in fact, a hidden gem up here. And that. What is that? It's a trash bot. I, 
kind of wish gems were a little more accumulative. Like, I didn't have to get uh, six on a single level for a skin. And I could just unlock skins the more gems I had. Because as it is, I've been going through, like, a bunch of levels and just not getting anything new. Because I don't have, you know, the full six on any one level. Don't mind me. Just passing through, get some crates that I missed. Oh, boy. Ah! Now hopefully, as long as there's the detonator switch, I should be able to blow these guys up later, the drones with the nitros. Well, at least that means he's li he's likely to do a video in the mobile cart games in the future. Ah, uh, his stupid jump mechanic where he has to do the bounce. You can't just hover and then drop. Dragon Ball Fighter Z highlights out today. And I have some Tony Hawk's Underground Pro highlights. They're almost done. Oh no. Oh no. Please leave me alone. TNTs are on timers, so they're not that useful to carry around to blow things up with. up on some uh, older older series like the Sonic highlights I only ever did hi uh, highlights of our adventure one playthrough so I gotta play catch up on that but part of me doesn't like watching uh, our old streams like him hovering up there. I don't even have time to... Okay, that works. That's fine. I got him. Alright, I already got the gem over there, and there weren't any crates that I recall. Wonder what the local delicacy is here. I hope it's spicy and fried. Okay. I just have the slam. I don't have a slide with Tana. And I have that. 
Oh, that doesn't, uh, that's not a kill for her. Or for them, rather. Oh boy. You know what? No. Come on, hit him. There we go. I don't, I don't need fruit. I'm fine without. Oh no. Wait, I need that. Got it. I'm, I'm basically guaranteed to miss crates on Tana levels. Because of all the things they hide in the backgrounds. That you have to... Crates you have to grapple to destroy. thought I could jump on it. Pyro themed grape energy drink and crash uh mango. I think crash would be orange, but I guess mango makes sense. That sounds like something very in character for Activision. Character themed energy drinks. These are those timed ones. Oh, wait. I, I still want those. There we go. All right. Oh, I see. Double jump on this, do I? No, just a single. I will say the grapple projectile works a lot better than the uh, Wumpa Bazooka. That slow thing that you have to stop everything and aim to use. This feels a lot more natural for a platforming game.
Oh boy, what are we doing? Oh, we're doing this. What? Wait, why no bounce? There we go. was my last checkpoint. That's not too bad. No, hit it! now and the previous Crash Force stream, I started playing Red Dead Redemption 1. I got the PS3 version. And the disc stopped reading. I hit a point where it will no longer progress in the game, so there goes that money. I don't know for sure if it's the disc itself or my PS3. Oh, I, I can transfer. That's right, I can do that. This is, this is an old PS3. My only hope at this point is that it at least lasts through Sonic 06. It's had some choppy frame rates, but it hasn't died during Sonic 06 yet. Much as it may want to. I'm guessing no. Still have yet to play any of the Red Dead games! I was enjoying it so far. I watched a playthrough of the second one. Uh, there's a... Vinny Vinesauce has a full playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. Archives. And the DLC for one, but not the playthrough of the first one. Which puts me in a weird position because I now the Red Dead 2 is a is a prequel. So I know the prequel events and game story going into the original game. Oh that line is fast. I wonder if there is a GTA 6 in the works. Oh, it goes real fast. Ah! Apu? Did he finally start his big and tall brand? Is this the future of, of the Crash 1 perfect ending? Also very Ratchet and Clank-like, these rail sections with the uh, shooting involved. 
there is, they expect it to be out by 2024. Okay, that sounds about right. They're still putting out content for GTA 5. I'm seeing ads for it on YouTube now. I feel like at this point, if I were to, like, buy it and try to get into the online community now, I'd be such a latecomer that, what's the point? I should buy it. I already have GTA 5. I just, I haven't played it. GTA 5 is, like, is a 100 gigabyte game. How big is 6 gonna be? Still putting out content for Genoverse 2. Which came out more recently? Is Xenoverse 2 an older game than GTA 5? Okay, there's the death wall. You got a lot of a lot of leeway in this game of Frogger. Ah, <gasps> uh, well. Okay, that's a way to go. Ah, oh, come on! I should have got that. Why is she no shoot crate? It's right there, Tana. Shoot the crate. That took long enough. Okay, so this is in sections. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Wait, I'm fine. I was fine, then I jumped again. Why does this crate not want to be destroyed? Does it have a will to live? I just have to jump on it. This. I don't want to see if there's more boxes. One. One crate. Is it here? Is it nearby? I want to explore just a little more to see if there's that one crate that I'm missing. Maybe it's around here. Is there one down in this corner? If it's not, then I'll give up. I just want to see over there. Ah! All right, I give up. I'm just going to go. Oh, it broke that time. I just wanted to get to that box. 
bottom right corner. What is that, like a Daft Punk Coco? Nice if we got a new bleach game. It'd be nice if we got new bleach. Maybe we'll get one to coincide with the, the anime they're finally doing. Jack never finished Bleach. We never finished it together. I went on and finished the series, but it uh I think the latest we watched together was partway through the Zonpakuto Rebellion arc. So we never saw like the very tail end. And we got a Cortex level. Probably make it an arena fighter. Well, the previous ones were 2D fighters, and I had the third DS one I didn't play. It was like a... Wasn't it like a combination of a 2D fighter and like a RTS game? <laughs> I remember that one was weird because it had a disproportionate amount of plot focus on... What's the, the, the wrong card with the zipper teeth? A very forgettable character, but with a lot of relevance to this random DS games story. Can he double jump? No, he cannot. I gotta relearn how to play all these characters every time. Blade of Fate was the first one. It was alright for what it was. It was mostly just retreading the... Zonpakuto, or the Soul Society arc, rather. No, I need up there. I missed a crate. Let me go back. You bastard! Ah! The second one had an original story that was between the Soul Society arc and them going back to Earth that was focused around mod souls, so that was interesting since the anime, the anime and the manga didn't really end up doing a lot with mod souls, especially the manga. At the very least, the anime got that uh, the filler arc just before the bounce that used mod souls a little bit more. In the manga, it was pretty much just Cone, and then the concept just never came up again. Okay, that's what we want. any reason to play... Well, they're Japanese exclusive, so they're not... Do they have, like, English text options in the Heat, Heat the Soul games? And is there any reason to play, like, all of them, or is it better to just... Like, if you play seven, there's no reason to play the other six. 
Is seven just the others but more? Oh no. Ah! No, sir, to what? No, they don't have English text options. So what did you do? You just fumbled around through the menus? Or did you play like a fan translation? Do those exist? Oh, how come that didn't break it? They have some English text in certain spots. Uh, I would expect that for some, like, simple effects. I always thought the very strangest translation thing was that there was full English text and dialogue and voice acting and everything in the Kingdom Hearts Final Mix games. Or specifically the first one, on the PS2. But it was Japanese exclusive. Like, they went through the trouble to have it totally, uh, fully ready for a potential English audience, and then they just didn't put it out. Our fan translations. Maybe I'll look into one of those. I have PSP emulation up and running now. Gem. That's, that's not even a crate I needed to go back for. Is there something up there? Oh, there it is.
Well, at least I don't need to go back and worry about that. crazy about the cortex levels. Then again, I'm not that crazy about all the non-Bandicoot levels. Non-Crash and Coco. just spaced weirdly enough that they bait you into dying. Oh boy, what are you doing? You're exploding. That's death. I'm all right. I'm fine. Anything over here? There's nothing over here. Making progress. Slowly and painfully. There's no, like, slow fall for the platforms in this game. They're just there one second and gone the next. That Schnurgle shrink was killer. Ah, truth. Who cooked it? Heat was too high. That's why it was all rubbery inside. Except by grill marks, too. I liked the pickled wumpa leaves. <sighs> Cortex, you can't. Why did you not see it before? <laughs> okay, I guess we're done playing as Cortex. You can't say that. This is a kid's game. That's a no-no word. That's H-E double hockey sticks. What, what is this? Is this a mock speed segment? I'm so confused. What are these physics? I missed a crate. Is this part of the same level? I'm not understanding what's going on. Missed an invisible crate? No, I, uh... That was a metal crate. I already got that. I just, I go flying forward at mock speed when I jump. Like, I don't understand 
the implied motion of these platforms. It's like super hot. Every time I jump, they move, but when I'm standing, they don't move. This is so bizarre. It's like a combination of super hot and cluster truck. That's what this this level is. It's cluster truck. That's something I could play. I've never streamed cluster truck. Yeah, this is still part of the same level. Maybe I should stream Cluster Truck with Jack, though. I have a handful of, uh... Just like, you know, stream games. It would be good for us to do one-offs in that we've just never gotten around to doing. It's like they wanted to do a boulder chase level with you running forwards, but they couldn't provide a sense of urgency. Like when you can see the boulder chasing you. They tried. I think. I think this is their attempt. to use the word jank. I got a pity mask, but I don't think that's going to help. Given that the threat here is falling. No one ever does an extra hit for fall hazards. Like Mario, you get the Super Mushroom that can tank an extra hit. You get the Masks and Crash Bandicoot. You never bounce up out of a pit for an extra hit power-up. They introduced the Super Crown to make pits just non-lethal in their entirety. But why, why not a middle ground? If you're going to do that, you might, as just, you might as well just make them just a damage hazard instead of an instant death. That would be a fine use of Peachette. you can, uh, I don't know if you can tell, like, the physics of this level, just looking at it. It's, this seems like something you would kind of have to feel to understand how strange it is. But you can see it stop moving when I'm not moving. still entertaining that I might be able to get all the crates on this level. Ah! God, look at, look at, looking at these death counts, just thinking that if I wanted 100% this game, I would have to do all this in a single perfect run of the entire level. I'm going to have to do that for the time trial relics, but at least I won't have to get every crate for that.
Ah! You know what this needs? This needs a twitch, twitch integration, like cluster truck. You guys need to be able to turn on uh, low gravity or super speed or lasers, truck lasers. That's a good one. Ah. That would be cool to see. Uh, mainline. Mainline. Uh, like like an older series with a new entry that had a feature like Twitch integration. Because that's a big thing on Twitch nowadays, is like Mario 64, but you can mess with the game's physics. You know, those Kaze Manuar hacks. <gasps> Why did I go... I got greedy. I went for an extra jump. Something like that would be very cool to see in just like a publisher-made Mario or Crash game. Spyro 4 devs, get on it. Add Twitch integration to Spyro 4 on Steam. It's not gonna be on Steam, though, is it? It's gonna be on whatever, uh... On whatever the Activision platform is. That's why I didn't get this on PC. Forcing me to go forward all the time, it'd probably be designed to be a little more forgiving, like the polar bear levels. I guess it's kind of kind of forgiving, and so far as the stops when you stop thing goes, but boy, I'm spending a while on this. Also, we have spy music now. Is this the boss battle theme? Is that what this is? This is the, the final boss of the platforming sections. <sighs> this is the furthest I've gotten. Oh! I wonder how far that is if I'm even close to the end. Oh no. Oh, I don't want to bounce accidentally. That messes with me. I can bounce on that one intentionally. And I thought I was special because I got all platinums in previous Crash games. That's just the baseline for this game. You have to be good just to you have to be that good just to get through the levels. Imagine if Mario did that. Like you had Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, where you know, pretty casual, fun little Mario games. And then Mario Galaxy 2 hits, and it's this. It's Kaizo. It's it's made by the Kaizo guy. That's Mario Galaxy 2, the official one that Nintendo puts out on the Wii. I guess there'd be some people who would dig that. No. Ugh.
They did kind of do that insofar as there was, uh, what was it, New Luigi U? Wasn't that just like a really hard Super Mario, New Super Mario Brothers game where you could only play as Luigi? That's the only hard type Mario game Nintendo has ever intentionally put out that I can recall. Other than arguably Mario 2 in Japan, but I don't think they were trying to go out of their way to make that difficult. I think it just kind of ended up that way. how it would sell if they did go out of their way to make a hard type Pokemon game. Because that's a common complaint among fans with the Pokemon series. It's not hard enough. We need, to, we need the game to be harder. It's a joke now. There's no difficulty at all. I wonder, like, I wonder how that would sell. Maybe they could make that a director's cut version. They got Pokemon Sword and Shield. Maybe they could make Pokemon Armor the super crazy hard version. It's Nuzlocke by default. Oh, that was a cool death. Really hung on for, for a while there. Nintendo in general, just embracing cool fan ideas would be very welcome. I just have this uh, picture of the, the alternate continuity Nintendo. Where they see people doing Nuzlocke runs and they think, that's cool, we should include it. Where they see people doing Mario 64, but chat can mess with it and they think, that's cool, we should include it. Wouldn't that be a cool Nintendo? Instead, the closest we get is a Nintendo that sees Mario Battle Royale and says, That's cool! We should steal it! That's our Nintendo. this and I'm not even going to have all the crates. It'll turn out I, I missed one in the Cortex section. And even if I get all the crates, it's going to be a hollow victory because someday I'll have to do it again but without dying once. Like, there's really not a point to this other than that I want to... Like, I'm committed now. I want to do it on stream. I'm not going to come this far and then just give up on getting all the crates. Oh, I'm chasing his ship. That's what's supposed to be going on. that That's his ship up there. And he's like dumping stuff out the back? Is that what I'm jumping on? Elrod. Well, you know what? I'll leave it up to you. Should I continue trying this, or should I just go to the end and forget about the crates? Are you sick of watching this yet? And you 
doubted anal cell rog. There's another way I can break this cycle of endless fighting between us. I can go back to where it started. I can undo my greatest failure. He means you, Crash. <laughs> he looks so hurt. Bye-bye, bandicoots. <laughs> That looked like that cut crashed so deep. And now for me to stop me. Okay, here we go, back to crash one. Boy, that's a cartoonier looking map than I remember. Cortex Island, 1996. Didn't see this coming. Can we go to the alternate continuity where Crash Bash happened? Can we go on, on, on levels of Crash Bash minigames? That would make me happy. What if they canonically did that? They brought back some of the stuff that they retconned. But no, we've only fought Cortex three times. You again? You two are so clingy! Take a hint already! Who's on my super secret personal frequency? What? Who is this? This imposter! Do you not recognize your own face? I've come from the future to warn you! If you try to turn Crash Bandicoot into the general of your army, you will fail! The machine rejects him! God! Fiend! Embryo, alert the guards! Uh, why won't I listen to me? Good start. Listen up, lackeys. There's an imposter me on the loose. Identical in appearance. Beady eyes. Lips like two overripe bananas, skin like a jaundiced mole rat, a bona fide ten. I don't remember this kind of setting in Crash 1 either. So it seems like we're just kind of going back to the same place in terms of lore, not necessarily in terms of levels. Was uh, that... Dickris's response to the double cortex scene. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have a very high standard for this story. Crash Bandicoot was never really about the story. Oh, those are spikes. Aww. 
Well, what's over here? Just, okay. Death liquid, I see. Are we gonna see Pinstripe? Are we gonna get to fight him again? I'm waiting for us to run into our past selves. I feel safe in assuming that's where this is gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna meet the past bandicoots. I feel like I need to go up to check what's above me. But I don't want to do it carelessly or I'll just fly up into some death springs. Some death wheels. Ah! I am getting a lot of all box gems on this stream. I missed one by one crate, but otherwise, I'm doing good. Maybe these levels just aren't as mean as their predecessors, or maybe I'm finally getting into this game's just design philosophy and seeing where the hidden crates are. I think the game's just being less mean, though. Oh, what, what what killed me? There's just a death wall? There's just a death wall. I'm fine with the gears, but the random death walls, that's just mean. At least put something that's visibly there that I can't touch or something. I'm just trying to be thorough. I'm trying to check for hidden stuff, and I'm getting killed for it. It's like this level is trying to count contradict the level design of all the previous levels. What are these what are these fire these fireflies sound like? They sound like the lizards from the 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 gl glimmer in Spyro 2. Oh, no, 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 don't want to be there. There we go. Do I still have the mask at that point? Is it worth checking under the wheel? Speaking of checking, a checkpoint would be nice.
Cortex just laughed when I took a hit. I do not have the mask anymore. Well, I don't want to land on the rats, but I can't see the platform before I get to it. Before I land on it. It's too far below me. I'm starting to take back the, the thing, the good things I said about this game's design for these few levels. At least I don't have to get through the level without dying to get the gem. Right? That's nice. Just have to do that for the insane relic, which I still don't know what those even unlock, if anything. What are you? Are those the embryo creatures? The slime things? Oh boy, there's a lot of these. where I can't commentate. I have to spend too much attention focusing on the game. Oh, hello. You can go down. You can make jumps. They're nimble little dudes. Okay, there's the big embryo machine.
I assume I can't spin those things because they're glowing green. That seems like a bad thing to attempt to spin. Ah! Lift it, you're just gonna stand there. Just gonna stand there? Okay. Now imagine how many times Jack would die in this game. With his perpetual need to kill every enemy on screen. I'm avoiding them if there's no reason for me to attack them. And risk it. opportunity for them to get Clancy Brown back for 1996 Cortex. Oh, that would have been cool. I do wish they'd done that. One of the best bits in Dragon Ball Super was them getting the Ocean Vegeta for Copy Vegeta. What am I doing? I'm fine. Okay, we're good. We made it. Just ignore that guy. We don't need him. Please listen to me. Please listen to me. Okay, what do we got? I'm a stubborn moron who's going to destroy his own future. I'm a stubborn boy. Hey, wait a minute! Okay, I don't know how that didn't burn me, but that's fine. Wow, how come I can't slide him? What was that shit? That was highway robbery. You'd think a fire crate going off immediately next to, uh, what is that? It's an exclamation point. What does that mean? you think it going off right next to a TNT and nitro would, like, matter? No, they're fine. just a floating exclamation park mark. I've never seen that in the game before. That's not anywhere else. Pity checkpoint. That's cool. I don't mind that.
Oh, that's what that is. Well, this is a very easy bonus round compared to all the previous ones. This one's actually very straightforward. I can't tell the difference between a regular activator crate and the nitro crate because everything has a green glow in here. Super easy. What is... Oh, it's just a lantern? Is that what that is? It's just a decorative object. Not meant to be an excla exclamation point at all. Uh, hmm. Well, this is an interesting place for Coco to be, don't you think? That was a cool interaction. It's like they were made by completely different level designers. This part of the game and the earlier levels in the game. Like, did they not expect anyone to go over there? Oh boy, that's a, that's a deep. That's a deep no deaths tape. Slow motion is for chumps. Babies. Baby stuff. Absolute children. Fireflies get me. Baby stuff. Easy peasy. Two crates miss. Awesome. supposed to be nitro fluid. Liquid nitroglycerin. Toxic tunnels. Except they're mine carts? Where, where's the part where fat mafia dudes throw barrels at you? Where's that level?
Why would you try to appeal to nostalgia if you're not going to use any of the... Any of the original level, like, even the prop sets. It's just new levels that happen to take place in, in the 1996 era. Without anything 1996-y about them. Why did you... I have to choose a bandicoot! If I just stuck with the Wombat, this all could have been different! That's a reference. This bandicoot is strong, clever, and above all, loyal. No. In an alternate continuity, where they went with Willy the Wombat... Okay, just invisible walls. Don't put any reason for the minecarts to be stopping me there. They're getting kind of lazy for these end ending levels. Are we gonna meet Willy the Wombat? Is he gonna be a canon Crash Bandicoot character? Maybe he'll be the final boss. Willy the Wombat, of course, being Crash Bandicoot's development name. What, uh, huh? I slide, though. What, what's insane? <gasps> I wonder how far behind you are, Darian. fact that the chat appears live on screen is a neat way to test exactly how far behind you are. gonna get cheated this time? No, I'll just I'll ignore them. I just will not attack. Because I can't trust the hitboxes on these enemies. That's a good, that's a good uh, game design trait when you, you can't trust the hitboxes on something. Type. I haven't seen them this in a platforming game before. Wait, is this the way to go? I thought this was like an alternate path. 
Oh, was that the five gem door? Four gem door? The color gem door. I bet it is. The end of every Crash Bandicoot game. There's a, a path for getting all the colored gems. Don't know how I'm alive, but that's okay. I'll take it. On this on this route, I wonder if it's going to bring me back to the beginning again. This game has been mean with the the difficulty of the platforming, but so far it hasn't had any like super nasty backtracking like the original trilogy did. So small blessings. I'm getting final world vibes from this map. This uh, set of levels. Oh, I see. Is that what you want me to do? <laughs> I thought I'd landed. Oh, and there's no checkpoints on this, are there? Oh, no! Do I really want to do this if there's no checkpoints? That's a lot to ask. expect a one-for-one one remake of the Crash 1 levels. It'd just be nice if there was, like, some reference or some commonality with them. Some reason for us to be in Crash 1, you know, world map. I get a mask, so there's that. It doesn't help me from falling in the liquid. Better safe than sorry. Ah! 
Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with this. Sorry. Well, and I know there's crates there, so I'm definitely not gonna get all the all the crates on this level. I bet Captain Quark could do that gem section. He's the best. Is there like a pinstripe laugh mixed into the background music? I'm hearing strange noises. Now imagine this game without a double jump. We go old school Crash 1. I'd like to get to the end of this world, but this is only the second level, isn't it? And there's probably three. I can one cycle these if I ignore the crates.
Okay, checkpoint. I have those trumpets, and I think of, like, uh, pirate music. It's like the... the pirate fortress in Thousand Year Door. Are we back to the super complicated bonus rounds? Man, in Crash 3... in Crash 1, they were basically just free lives. That's a fast one. Why are you so fast, Crate? Okay. I don't think I need to do this bonus round. I'm good. Imagine all the resetting we would have done had I played this on the on the mode that has uh, lives. a little demanding to go over that way. Are we not supposed to go over that way? No, we are. That's optional stuff up there. I wonder if you do unlock a run in this game, or if it's just not here. And then the rats just stop coming after a while, I guess. over there and there's a there's a tape too but I can't get you where 
are you? So you're over the platform. There's fire there. And there. a while before I come back to do the uh, relic streams for this game. I feel like I'm going to have to at least get all the gems and levels and things before then. Which is going to depend on me having the motivation to 100% this game. It's right there, it's so close. We've reached the point where I'm no longer going for all crates and I'm still struggling to get to the end of the level. This is a very mentally fatiguing game. like this section. Okay, the mask saved me. Nothing. Okay, there's a Robo Coco. I'm going to try to push through. I'm going to go through Cortex Castle. And I'm going to do the boss. That's my plan. I am going to commit to getting through this world before I stop the stream. I remember levels like this, except there used to be holes in the floor. He seems to have fixed that. What do we got? We got Sir D. You'll never find me, Neo Mama Cortex. Cortex? This castle is a maze. I alone know all of its secret halls and passages. Like the one behind the portrait of Grandfather that opens when you press on his triangular fossa? But how?
For a mad scientist, Past Cortex is very skeptical of time travel. Okay, that comes through. It's not even that it's, it's necessarily a bad crash game. Like, I just wanted to get through the the PS2 ones, like Mind Over Mutant and, and uh, Crash of the Titans, because I just wasn't particularly interested in, in them as games. This one is just so unbearably difficult. Which I have the same problem with Spelunky 2, and I'm a little mad at myself that I feel that way. But it's that they're marathons, and it's not 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 sprints. Like Spelunky 2, I have to commit so much time and effort to doing a uh, a full run, like a good run of the of the full game, the secret ending. There's so ma so many specific things you have to do in that game. That you just have to do everything perfectly for a relatively long amount of time. Which is very taxing, and then when a run ends in failure, it's just so disheartening that I don't want to do another run. I, I have one in me per Spelunky session, and that's it. And that's about the same for this game. These levels are so incredibly long and complex that I have, like, one in me per session, and that that's it. Either I succeed and that's my crash level for the day, or else I fail and then I'm too brokenhearted to attempt again. Commit another half an hour to an hour to getting a perfect run of a cra single Crash Bandicoot level. I do honestly think this game is hurt by just the, sh the length of its levels. It would have benefited from them being much shorter. I hear the gong, and I think of uh, Cloudberry Kingdom, which is a, uh, it's a procedurally generated Kaizo platformer. Been meaning to do that with Jack at some point. We'll probably do at least one stream of it. I'm not 
thinking straight. I've been playing Crash 4 for too long. My brain is mush. I can't do these puzzle bonus levels. Post Crash 4 stream, Zelrog is too dumb for Crash 4 bonus levels. So if I blow those up, there will be nothing left for me to stand on. Maybe I can still do, like, a slide double jump. I can, and then I'll just get zapped. This still doesn't seem that bad. I think I'm just playing bad. You know, that was the reason that I never 100%ed Crash Bash. Is because of the stupid, the final types of relics, the platinum relics. I think they required you to beat the hardest computers like four times in a row without losing once. You give me the sprints, I'm good. It's, I, not the marathons, I can't do those. Oh, those are, uh... I needed to go through those. Those, those are belly flop crates. I missed those two. Well, that's whatever. I, I, know, I know I'm not getting all the crates anyway. Boy, if these were Cortex's castle defenses in the first game and Crash didn't have the masks, he'd have been screwed. now? He didn't have knights in the first game. Also, these uh, goofy Cortex monitors somehow less intimidating than the monitors in the first game. Those are, uh, those are lasers. I'm just making some attempt to get all the crates for brevity's sake at this point. Just to say I put in an effort. Look, I'm experiencing the full joyous fun of the game. I don't do things part way. him! Where'd he go? Uh-oh. Hmm. Coco may be in a bit of a pickle. No, we're good. She's fine. invert twice in quick succession, it seems like.
Oh, how come she no ride? Coco, ride the Beyblade. Let it rip. Come on. Oh, I can stand on the edge. Can she not? I guess she can't ride the Beyblades. side character level that leads into this. Fine. Oh boy. They're, uh, they're expecting a lot for this last section. Boy, that's gonna be fun for relics when I have to go through quick and can't die. The fuck is this? I saw a TNT up there that I'm gonna have to figure out how to get for the gem at some point. <laughs> oh, I still have the, I thought, wait, wait, what did I pick up? I thought I picked up a different mask. I still have the, oh, that's a fruit.
So we went through all the easiest parts of Cortex's castle in uh, Crash 1, I'm learning. So it's taking that, the spin mask, away from me before I reach the height of my jump. I need to go higher before I move that far to the right. A very arbitrary requirement. Oh yeah, it's just one more level. I can do one more. That's fine. I can handle that in my current state. How hard can this last level be? That's fine, I have a mask. <sighs> Almost there. I see it. Give me blind jumps in a pitch-dark, ha floorless hallway any day. so I'm not going to. Sorry. Eventually. I'm pretty sure there's more levels. There's a post-game, so it will be done. Eventually, TM. Any idea how stubborn I used to be? Yes. I need to stop him from making you. But I can't kill him because that would kill me. So I guess that means I'll have to kill you. <laughs> Yoink. But why not kill the past thems? Wouldn't that be an easier target? Jump on the shoot-o-matic? Cheater! 
that all we're doing? We're jumping on stuff? Okay. We got more platforming challenges Shoot for our boss. That's fine, I'm good at that. I guess I couldn't. Ready, set. Power before Did I cheese it? Was I not supposed to just stand there? Oops, I didn't want to do that. You're, you're just safe as long as you're bouncing on one of these things. Actually not as hard as previous bosses so far. Oh, there's more. And I was also still alive. I didn't realize I had a mask. Do you think Bennett Foddy would approve of this game? Do you think he thinks it's hard enough? Did I earn this, Bennett Foddy?
I knew you were loyal. Must have taken a hit to the old temporal lobe. But a fallen foe can only mean one thing. It came to blows, and I won! My new general's first order of business will be to dispose of you. <laughs> to do to me <laughs> looks like somebody needs a little time out somewhere he can't cause any trouble enjoy the end of the universe <laughs> yeah he'll be fine Well, there you go. This GG. This game has work of fiction. Any similarities to any marsupials, talking masks, dingo alligator hybrids, or evil science guys with weirdly shaped heads, living or dead, is purely coincidental. You should not have played this game if you suffer from Wumpa Allergy, Crash Rash, Fear of Alternate Dimensions, Fear of Moving Platforms, Fear of Still Platforms, Fear of Sequels, Fear of Squishy Noises, Fear of Bouncy Noises, Fear of Super Science, Fear of Collecting Things, Fear of 90s nostalgia, inability to comprehend time paradoxes, inability to forgive those who have wronged you, inability to pick a restaurant when someone asks you what you're hungry for, inability to remember where you parked, or a delicate tummy. For more information on bandicoots and their diet, habitat, mating habits, birthday wish lists, and shoe sizes, visit your local library or ask your grandma. I don't know if she has any prior experience with bandicoots, but she's very wise, and I'm sure she'd love to hear from you. The makers of this game do not in any way endorse eating at Dingo Dial's Diner, which has been known to cause transdimensional discharge, intestinal rifts, wumpa whooping cough, parasitic slime boils, random teleportation into darker timelines, and uncontrollable mewing like a little kitty cat during important business meetings. <gasps> Any unauthorized exhibition, distribution, or duplication of this game will result in very hurt feelings. And why would you want to hurt our feelings? We've always said really nice things about you. We even said your new haircut looked great, even though it was kind of a weird length for you. Guests of Crash Bandicoot stay at Insane Beach Suites, which is just a log with some moss on it. The moss is really soft, though, so you should be able to get a good night's sleep. What, are you too good to sleep on a log? Sorry, Your Majesty, I suppose you want a continental breakfast instead of a handful of ants that make their nest under the tree. Jeez Louise, there's no pleasing some people! <laughs> Can you give me a minute? <gasps> okay, I'm ready to go again. The events of this game are absolutely 100% canonical. Unless you didn't like them, in that case it was all a dream. Are you done? The thing. Is that necessary? Yeah, this game tries a little too hard. That's okay. It tries hard and it expects us to try hard. Let it play that. Wow, that's really it. There's not even credits music. It's just that narrative, that uh, that bit. Oh, someone has a pet named Goomba.
cinematics by Vicarious Visions. I guess that's what they did. Whereas Beanox was the game itself? I don't know. I'll, I'll let this play. Uh, yeah, I, t I talked about my feelings on the game. Pretty vocally throughout. This game is too hard. I would have been fine with it if the levels were shorter. More akin to the, you know, original Crash level length. I will, uh... I'll play through more. I'll, I'll do the gem stuff on my free time. Probably very gradually. Assuming there is a world that we get after this... I'll probably do another another stream in the near future with that Cortex level we skipped and the whatever world is after this. If we have to do something to unlock it, like get all the gems, then uh, I will have to do that off-screen first. I'm going to do most of the 100% stuff off-stream. I'll do the rest of the levels, if there are any that we haven't yet seen, in another stream, and then I'll do some uh, time trial streams. Get the relics. Is my plan for this game going forward. Still doing Trials. I gotta go through that series solo. And I'm thinking of starting Book of Mario 64. Solo. Nearish future. And maybe I'll try out that Bleach game. That'll depend if I have it. There is a fan translation if that's worth playing. Maybe I'll check it out. ominous. They really just want this ambience to feel like you didn't really beat the game. You didn't earn, you didn't earn anything. You did it the easy way. Go get the gems, idiot. What about the Cortex Vortex? It's still up there. More Wind Waker on Nick's channel tomorrow on Wednesday. He does Smash on Friday. Maybe I'll do something on Thursday. If so, probably Trials. We'll see. How much of this is there? Does it loop? Have we looped? I don't know if it looped. I, I haven't been paying attention. I'm just, I'm just gonna press A. It does nothing. I'm gonna press B now. I'm always wary if there's something like just at the a stinger at the end of the credits. But god, game credits are long these days. Triple spin. Oh. Huh. Attack in a wider radius and seriously boost your speed. Give it a spin in time to... Okay, that's... Uh, well, there was the super spin in previous games. This is a speed method now? Usually it slowed you down. There's so much more to do. Get all the skins, gems, flashback tapes, time trial... Ah, uh, PTSD! Are you a bad enough bandicoot to reach 100%? I don't know that I am, game. Uh, where does th where does this go? There's there's a, a purple thing. Okay, it's a circuit. It's back to the beginning again. All right. Well, I guess that's the whole world map. Until I get a hundred percent, I get all the the gems and things. Boy, that'll be fun. And then I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to come back for whatever I unlock after that point. But uh, that is definitely it for today. 
Boy, that was a stream. Three hours. I, I got through the main story. I think this is the, this was the fourth Crash Four stream. I haven't. I I I, I, I lose count every single time. Uh, we'll be back with uh, Nick for Majora tomorrow. Probably something Thursday, as I said. Let's see where things go from there. Try to stream with Jack this weekend. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.